elimination battle begins. <clears throat> Today is the elimination battle. I trust that your preparations went smoothly. Aye, aye, Captain. I turn toward the voice coming from behind me. He wears the clothes of a priest, which in the end only make his snide tongue more jarring. Come to the first floor when ready. You can do something trifling, like stop by the commissary if needed. Apparently finished, he opens the door and lets himself out. I forgot to equip the new... Wait, no, I didn't. Wait, did I? I could go to my personal room and sort out my information on the enemy servant. And then once it's in order, I'll go to where Kutumini uh, is. Okay, um... Hang on, equip. Wait, right, they're inverted for some reason. Man of Seas, times for one turn, eliminates lower level enemies. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess. All right, yeah, no, there's no, there's no one to talk to on, uh, battle days. All right, Saber. Let's put our heads together. The decorative plants, goddammit. Uh, do you have anything to say? The magic in my blade is still weak. You should have watched yourself to fixing this with haste, Praetor. Alright. Organize your information. Alright, let's review the information we have. Dan Blackmore. Our opponent this time is a veteran soldier. Since I can never hope to make up decades of experience in a week, he's clearly got the advantage. L a little, little, little bit. Uh, I'm the inferior master, but when it, when, it, uh, when it comes to servants, the servants class is... Archer. Has to be Archer. <laughs> like, we have Saber and we already dealt with Ryder, so... That day in the arena, the servant fired a poison arrow at me. That kind of precise marksmanship was enough to tell me the enemy's class is Archer. Uh, it's also clear that said that said shot uh, severed some kind of bond between master and servant. Yeah... That was a big no-no. Dan forbid his servant to use his bow to fire poison arrows. That bow is his noble phantasm called. The name of the noble phantasm that Dan forbid using his servant from using was the U-Bow. Yeah. The name of the servant's uh, unerring bow is the U-Bow. After Archer wielded it in the prep period, Dan utilized the command seal to disable its, use, uh, to disable its further use. Tell him to fight fairly. Fighting face to face with honor and pride. Seeing as how Archer fought so differently in life, of course he doesn't get his master's values. Yeah, all of a sudden being told to just do something completely different from what you usually do is... Probably not helped. The girl helped me to, to, help me to do so that was the sky gazing beauty from the third floor, Rani. With the remains of the Archer's arrow, she showed me the forest he held dear. The name of that forest was... The Sherwood Forest. Matrix level E. Right, it was Sherwood Forest. And there's only one heroic spirit who was active there. Robin Hood. There's zero doubt as to the enemy archer's true name. Even with his true name, and taking into account the discord between master and servant, can I win? I think we got a pretty, a pretty good shot. Uh, our, save, our servants are pretty evenly matched, so if I can step up my game as a master... Then we should stomp them into the ground with reckless abandon. No holds barred. Huh. Uh, sorry, I don't know what overtook me there. All right. wait, wait, I, did, I just saved. No. Time. Our battle will be legendary. Or completely ordinary. We'll see. You'll now enter the Colosseum. 
confront the opposing master. Are you ready? Remember, the only way to leave the Colosseum is to win. If you are ready, I will open the gate. <sighs> Enter the Colosseum. The way to the Colosseum is now open, young master. I wish you the best of luck and hope that you will return. Remember, it's kill or be killed. Here we go. Come on. Is there a way to skip that animation? Probably not. And in we go. I wonder who the final person we're gonna fight is. Probably, probably Rin, right? Like, I imagine Rin has to make it to the finals. Awkward. Yeah, you, know, you tried to kill us. We sort of kind of tried to kill you, but not really. Him, I admire that man is made of stone. However, statues make poor conversation partners. Yeah. Hey, servant, you look like a clown, so put on a little show for us. Let us see your tricks or hear a poem. Huh? What's the point of talking to someone who's about to jump into the grave? Ah, that's a good point. Although, I'm about ready to chew my arm off to get away from Grumpy here. The guy doesn't even fart without a purpose. <laughs> what? What? How do you fart with a purpose? I mean, I guess to intimidate, maybe? I don't... Okay. I've given up trying to make small talk with him. Hey, enemy master. Why don't you try talking to Grump... Grumple Stillskin over here? Ask him why he fights. Is the obviously correct answer. There is no why in war. Once one enters the battlefield, they only fight to achieve their objective. A soldier does not need, no, cannot have, a, cannot have a reason to fight. That is how things were when I was a soldier. Though my life has changed much since that time, I've never needed a why. Don't you hate it when you're right? Like I said, the guy's a steel trap. Thanks for trying to pry him open. Hm. Yeah. Himph, I can respect the pride and experience of a, vet, of a veteran army general. He's a fine opponent. In fact, I sympathize with such a prestigious man for being saddled with an impish heroic spirit. Are you of honorable origins? Because your master cuts a better figure as a servant than you. I wish. My master is so straight-laced that an atypical heroic spirit like me gets tied up in knots. Now I'll let you in on a little secret. Not all of us heroic spirits are noble in life. Yeah, true? That would be boring. Oh, and on that note, careful you don't get uh, nailed from behind again. <laughs> Heroes do not, need, uh, do not necessarily need to be noble, but their lives must be brimming with glory and beauty. At any rate, you seem to be an archer assassin. I have experience with conducting assassination. But you were... Shouldn't you have been on the receiving end of, of assassination, not... Okay. It, but my master's not cut out for such methods. Besides, this war is not politics. Oh, yeah, right. Right. <laughs> What's this domestic strife I'm sensing over there? You don't care for surprise, surprise attacks, master? Half far is too far. No foul play. No dirty tricks. Mm, it depends. That's the spirit. Clever person can turn anything into a weapon. This is gonna be a good fight. Yeah, I, I hope it is. Mm. I hope I don't get like effed into the ground. Don't get carried away, Archer. You call that getting carried away, Master? <clears throat> Plundering our enemies for entertainment right before the battle. Yes, that is excessive. Ding, correct. If you don't like it, then go put on a helmet to match that armor and drown out the sound. But I want to talk to our enemies. Why don't you listen in? Learn what kids these days are into. Because if you've got any more ancient, they'd have to put you in a museum. But you're literally... <laughs> you're, 
you're literally like a thousand years older than him. <laughs> like what? Hmm. Your poorly phrased advice is duly noted. The mutual understanding will come on the battlefield. Yeah, I suppose it will. <laughs> you have no idea how to have fun. As well as killing, 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 a guy's gotta unwind. A bowstring that's bound too tight snaps, isn't that right? I have nothing against having fun. Right? Life's hella hard, and then you die. If you don't enjoy yourself, then you'll just die miserable. Will you never gain the proper attitude to fight? I mean... Dan, to be fair, he's probably a lot- Robin's probably a lot more accomplished than you are in terms of, like, battlefield prowess. Lighten up, Master. Things would be so much easier for us if you just accepted life as funny parts. I go on the undefended back of yours. That's how an archer should fight. Um, I feel like Emia Archer would. Well, no, I guess maybe he wouldn't disagree. I, I think Shira would disagree, but the jaded Emia probably would. I have to be nimble on my feet. Chivalry and ideology are all stiff and would just slow me down. Listen, Archer. You will fight as I direct. Oh, not again. Fine, fine. I get it. Your wish is my command. Ah, uh, that's my master for you. He can't keep his chivalry in his pants, <laughs> even with a kid like you around. Well, he he should keep it in his pants, but you know. I just wish you understood that not everyone can take pride in their lives. <sighs> well, yeah, you'll just have to show him, uh. What's what? A sudden rumbling snaps me out of the spell my opponent's horrors to put me under. We're at the battlefield. The time to fight a warrior of unparalleled de uh, determination has come. Let's go, Archer. The time has come to embrace the battlefield once again. Oh, Dan, 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 my man. You will be missed. Yeah, you said it. It's about time we gave this snooty princess her just desserts. Him, princess. Did you just call me a princess? We, you won't leave this place alive. That's empress to you. I'm a grown woman. I hold you accountable if my master dresses me as princess. Uh, that's the part you found offensive? Aren't you a little too gung-ho about your master? A quiet you! How dare you insinuate something that I am not resolved on a matter myself? Uh, when I am not resolved on a matter myself? Wait. Uh... Okay. Okay. <laughs> He's like, whatever. I, I don't give a shit. That's right. My master is mediocre in both a per a performance and appearance. W hey! Though, I suppose my master's efforts up to this point deserve praise. Thanks, I guess. To see a commoner rise against the mighty sets my heart racing. My master's out of your master's league. Your master's already as good as dead. Because my master, in spite of her lack of experience, works so hard and looks adorable trying. Okay, my internet just dropped to zero. Why? Okay. Also, Saber... <laughs> what are you insinuating, Saber? Are you trying to try, try and get down? Because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of down. You made me think my master's a chick. With me by her side, my master will grow into a big, strong bird. What's your master? Dying raven, do you even have the strength to fly? Um... Mm. Your insight is keen. Is keen. I hear you were a tyrant in life, but I see you deserve to be a heroic spirit. Wait, so they know who we are? Or who our servant is? What? 
yeah, I think he said the first part. You've got a wish too. No one has the right to scoff at that. Oh. Okay, so 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 Robin does kind of respect Dan's like wh whatever Dan's up to. I don't, I don't know. Or I mean, hey, he has to, otherwise he would defend him. Uh, just a trap, Saber. Unless you want me to nail your tongue to the floor with an arrow. Him. I'm relieved by your words. Beneath your impudence, you care for your master as deeply as I care for mine. Whenever you're ready, Hunter, I will raise your Sherwood Forest. Uh. Yep. Alright. Live or die by the sword. What pat? Okay. I wasn't done reading that. Yeah, wait, does he have a dagger? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, they both have faith in each other. Because, like, I mean, to be fair, in at least the movies, I don't know about the actual legend itself, but Robin Hood was a f decent swordsman. Like, he wasn't horrible. So I guess it would make sense that he'd have uh, another way of going about fighting. Um, I'll test the waters with a guard and then break, break. Guard break. Oh, okay, he broke. And even, okay. Um. Alright, so. Yeah, what, you, what, what your master said. Um, guard. Wait, no, wrong thing, sorry. Break. Um. Uh, attack. Break, break, guard, break. This should be okay. Oh, it's not horrible. Uh, okay, that's not good. I hate getting poisoned like that. Wait, he what, what? What does he have an extra thing? Wait, what? Uh, uh, I don't. What? What do you mean? The, the, your magic shot? What? 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 Um. Um. Okay. Uh. Heal. Well, I feel like break is a safe bet. Because either it'll cancel him out or break his guard. If he attacks, that would suck. Um, attack. Attack. Break, break. Guard? I, I hope this does okay for us. Alright, good, 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 good. It worked out. Holy bow of supplication. My grave be where this arrow falls. Um. Would that do? I think that just poisons us. He already poisoned us. Wait. No? And the poison's gonna hurt us. Oh, Jesus. Um. Yeah, um... Break... Guard... Attack, break, break... Break? Oh, I'm... 
I'm not feeling good about this. Why would he poison you, bastard? Okay. Oh, I was hoping for a crit. Okay. Okay, okay, we're, we're, we're doing alright. Um... Alright, extra means Noble Phantasm, I believe. So... Let me... Use Remedy. Break. Guard. And all break. It should be relatively safe. Okay. You might get like one over on us. Wait, if we guard, we should be fine, right? No? Wait, what? Oh, wait, yeah, we, we didn't get poisoned. Yeah, I think it did work. Okay. The four breaks in a row is paying off so far. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll wait to use Fount of the Healer until we're on one that I know for, for a fact. Um, works. Yeah, Fount of the Healer. Wait. Let me reread that. Oh, wait, no, I have to use that at the beginning. Oh. Uh, okay. Um. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll just heal. And break. Guard, guard, break, break, break. Okay, he always starts off with... Damn. Oh, we guarded there, so we're good. Okay, and then he broke. Alright, so... Break, guard, attack, break, 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 break. I think. Right. Break. Guard, attack, attack, break, break. This should be flawless. Yeah, I think we're flawless. Assuming his last two are... Guards. No, he didn't break any of the last ones. Okay. We're still good, though. Give me... That. With break. Guard, attack. Break, break, break. Come on. Come on, baby. Alright, he, he- okay, he- so he also always does the poison arrow on turn two, or second attack. Man. <laughs> the- the actual servants have easier attack pattern reads than the like regular enemies in the arena or in the whatever in the Coliseum. Alright, break. Guard. Attack. Break attack. And um Wait. 
What does the other pills do? Fix f Okay, yeah. Um, right. <laughs> if we get lucky... No, we can't kill him this turn. But next turn, maybe. Damn, he got us twice. Wait, what, what, what's, what's that? Uh, oh, that 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 did about as much as a regular attack. What? But I guess it gets through no matter what. Maybe. Mm. I don't know what Dan did though. Oh wait, no. Oh right, Ad Okay, so he's obviously regening. Um. All right. In that case, let me heal. Break. Guard. Attack. Attack. Break, break. I feel like that's a... okay... Guess. Guard. Wait, the poison still gets to guard sometimes? Oh. Well, yeah, so this is not in the... in the plan. Uh, okay. Heal. Break. Guard. Pack. Break the break. Oh, please. I mean, with the healing, I should be fine no matter what, but... Really hoping he doesn't do too much. Come on. Then he'll do a regular attack, right? Yes. Okay. Good damage, good damage. Alright. I was hoping for a crit. Um, he's using it again. Bruh. Calm down, man. Guard. Um. Break, guard, guard, break. Yeah, I feel. I think that, that's a pretty safe bet. All right, come on. He, we can kill him this turn if we did good. Okay. Right. Had one screw up. It's fine. Come on. Yes. Sorry, Archer. I liked you, man, but yeah, you had to die for the sake of uh, for the sake of us not dying. <laughs> it's pretty pretty straightforward, to be honest. We deal with the enemy a finishing blow. It feels like I'm watching in slow motion as Archer's chest is impaled. And Blackmore looks dazed. He's staring at Saber as if my servant is some divine, be divine being. I mean, she kind of is, technically. <laughs> I don't know, man. You just were... you were worse. My master has more ability and more determinate determination than you. So how? They're gonna disappear right before our eyes. No, Archer. Seems I still lacked experience. I doubted myself too greatly in this tournament. It seems having a reason to fight is not the same as truly believing in that reason. Never doubted my desire to be a warrior, but... That life has given me regrets. I wanted the Holy Grail to bring back my late wife. What a silly delusion. My whole life I praised myself for giving up my individual feelings and aspirations like a good soldier. 
Only at the very end did I dare to have my own goals and decide to abandon military life. Can't believe I was trying to fight as just a man. It was foolish of me to pit my pride as a knight against my feelings as a person. So foolish. I just wanted to get back what I had lost before the end. But... I wonder which one I wished for. My late wife? Or the person I was before I became a soldier? The elderly knight falls into silence. Both he and his servants start to disintegrate. Oh, he did have a good reason, man. I thought he was just doing it for his country, but now he's he, he was he had a selfish but in my opinion noble wish. But I'm surprised in you. When you unleashed your final attack, you had no doubt in yourself. Even though you can't describe what it is yet, it must be something that gives you a purpose. Perhaps. My wish. The wish to bring back the dead was nothing to boast about. Though your, though your trials are many, keep living, young one. Your struggles will steal your, your determination. Now, I apologize that you have to see me like this, but I am at peace in my defeat. Because, for the first time, I am the ground from which a youth will, from which a youth with a bright future might grow. His final smile was beaming. Dan Blackmore's face was no longer stern, but kind and grandfatherly. <laughs> you needed someone better than a charlatan like me. I'm so sorry. Another servant wouldn't have failed you like this. No. I'm the one to blame, Archer. Restricting your actions was selfish and damaging to your, di to your dignity. <laughs> Bit late for that now, Master. You have no idea the torment you've been putting me through. Why are you apologizing anyway? You're making me sound like a moron here. And why do you care about me? Whether we win or lose, I still vanish at the end. Yeah, but... I mean... I did have a wish of my own, but I was more interested in having a good time. What was your wish then? Gotta tell ya, it's been rather boring to fight for you, master. Ah, <laughs> uh, there isn't something else to apologize to you for. A warrior's pride must have held no value to you. It's so messed up that can like, with each scene you see the like, dark data, like, eating away at them. Hmm. As long as I don't have to do it every day, it's a decent change of pace. Boring as it's been, playing night was a healthy thing for me to try, you know? Well, although it's never given a chance, I've always wanted to try being a badass knight. Dan's archer looks down as if in, as if in an embarrassment. He mumbles under his breath, as if he doesn't want us to hear. So, really, don't apologize. We had a good run and there's nothing to feel ashamed about. Jeez, I didn't, I didn't even think I'd be able to pull off a single battle in this stupid tournament. In life, I had everything I wanted. Wealth, fame, friendship, success. But, a fair fight was the one thing I never had. So, it's okay. I finally did something I was never able to do. Oh, Robin. Like he said, it was the end. Moments later, he vanished. He looked at peace. He lived his life in the shadows, protecting his village without acknowledgement. In his final moments, it seemed that he had found a way to get beyond the bitterness he felt. I'm sorry. Thank you, Archer. Not to me. But I trouble you to listen to the dying words of an old man. From here on out, no matter what enemy you may encounter or, you, who, or who you may have to defeat, feel it, think about it, process it, accept your doubts, but 
don't be crippled by them. Above all, accept the consequences of your actions and turn all you learn and feel into strength. If you wait until the end, I have to think you'll end up with regrets. And if possible, I'd like you to get meaning from your battles. Through combat, find the reason you fight and the reason you can't lose. Find your answers. It's your responsibility to have the answers when you survive this war. Do you understand, Rising Star? Don't forget. Finally, I'll be able to see her again. It's been too long, Anne. He was, he was a good man. He whispers a woman's name. It's spoken in a hopeful tone. With his answer warming his heart, Dan Blackmore disappears. Damn. They... Both, both people we've had to kill so far, they just drop like a, a bomb of like who they actually are or their motivations right at the end. Like Shinji, we find out he was like eight years old. <laughs> yeah, but he was just using like a teenage avatar. And then Dan goes from like a soldier who at first he gave us the impression that he was doing it to win the grail for his country, but no, he was actually fighting for to get his wife back. It's like, <laughs> why do you gotta drop these bombs on us right as they're dying? <laughs> like what? <sighs> <clears throat> A predator, your growth is lacking, and you have yet to use my, the power to its fullest. The last master was disgraceful, but this master was a seasoned warrior. Even though you emerged victorious from battle with his servant, you are still green. However, truly this is not as if nothing was gained. I have seen the look of a warrior pass over your face. Even though Saber's critici criticism is harsh, it, harsh, her praise is sweet. I don't know what the look of a warrior is, but if I've changed... Him. Dan, was it? Did you happen to gain any impression from, uh, from, uh, from fighting him? Um... Yes. Him. I see. If you believe as such, it's all well and good. I will see what you ha have or have not gained in the fight to come. The next battle. Right, there's a third round, and then a fourth, and so on. I'm still kind of lost, <laughs> but if that's the path before me, then I owe to the lives lost uh, so far to keep fighting. <sighs> yep, can't let their deaths be in vain. Right or wrong, that's one way to think about things. <sighs> Alright. And Sleeping Saber. Alright, we didn't finish the second floor. We, again, I think that's like, we just missed like one little node. But, still. Robin Hood, Noble Phantasm, Yubo, Holy Bow, Supplication, or Supplication. Keyword, Sherwood Forest, Faceless King. Uh, oh, he had pretty good stats all around. Huh. Alright. Who will we fight next? Probably, um... Uh... Leo? I would think? Because he's been kind of a... I mean, I guess Ren's also been a big, um... Part of things so far as well. 